Okay, well, this uh, little stock's got a little little cave in it there. I've got no idea if it's going to work or not. But I'm going to try to take my little airbrush hose and get it off of there. That's the right one for this. Yeah, that's one for this. Keep it up from coming out, so we're going to leave it like it is. Uh, it's good enough. Pull our hose out. It's kind of chilly out here, so I'm going to go in the house and take the tape off. Yeah, it's got a, still got a little tent, but don't you see that or not. But anyway, that's good as we're going to get, so enough of that. I'm going to the house where it's warmer. <coughs> try this little webcam thing. I don't know how good it's going to work. I finally got around to getting this thing all done. Uh, it ain't perfect because there's a wear mark right here where a slide comes back. I should probably wait it longer to put it together, but I was anxious to see how it's going to work. Yeah, like I said, it ain't perfect, but pretty nearly. Now, there might say there's no wear mark because that's where this little handle comes back and forth. If I remember right, when I had when I was a kid, it didn't take it long way to paint off either. You know, because it, you know, this over here with the stocks. See which side was this side here. Yep, come on. There you go. This little dent right here. I got most of that pulled out, but I think there's a rib right there or something that didn't come out. So we got that part done. And, uh, uh yeah. works like that. Now, at first, well, we'll go through the whole story here in a minute. But, First, it didn't lock. And one of the guys on the YouTube asked me about that. I guess they called it a little a sear. And uh, if I can think of it, maybe I'll put a picture at the end what it looks like. They had worn down a little bit. And uh, like some guy do with a real gun, they intentionally grind that down or file it down. So that they got a hair trigger. Well, this is two hair. This is bigger than that. It was basically one of those uh, slam fires. So you kick it back and. It's still in the pull of trigger, it got automatically run off. You know. my, my old ones was that way too, the old one I had. We got that way. You had to put your finger behind the trigger here to uh, keep it from going off. So, anyway, that is better than it was. I didn't do anything to the to this receiver because I, did, I wanted to kind of keep that the writing and everything. The only thing I really did was the barrel and the uh, top action here and the inside too. And of course, there goes something off the floor. Oh, well, I probably didn't need it very bad anyway. Uh, so, anyway, that's the story on, on that. And uh, we're going a little farther with more stories. Uh, but I noted before, I had to, the time we never brought that those time we were kids, we'd shoot frogs and uh, bring them home and eat them. Of course, we didn't just shoot them and kill them. And they'd be reasonably good size because, you know, you don't want to shoot a little bitty one. They might grow. We've got a lot of frogs in the BB guns, so they're not, well, it's not nothing like a 22. But it's pretty more powerful than some of the others were. And uh, I took this one out and shot it. I should take it out, I guess, and do some shooting. Added to this uh, video here. Uh, show what they, uh, um, kind of how it works. But anyway, uh, and I, I didn't show any putting it together because I had to kind of hunt and pack and watch the, the, the video. 
on YouTube because I'm not, I, you know, I haven't ever done it for a long time. And the other guys that are on there, they've got really good demonstrations, a couple of them. They've got really good demonstrations, take them down, put them back together. And I'll tell you what, not trigger, but it's a bear. You don't have to take it out of there. Well, if you're going to grind that or pile out here, you'll have to. But uh, when I got that, after I got this from Ron Wally's place down there, I ordered parts. I came in. And I started putting the spring in and all that. And poing, it went off in the wild blue yonder somewhere. And uh, I never did find it. So I ended up ordering another one around $9 a piece with a little spring. Lo and behold, yesterday evening, I don't work on it. I wanted to get a day four yesterday. I was trying to install that. Next year, though. Well, I did. I managed to find it laying on the floor over here. I told the wife, we need to paint that floor white. So whenever I lose stuff like this, it made it a whole lot easier. Being instead of this wood grain we got. She didn't think that was a good idea for whatever reason. But nonetheless, um, that's just a little synopsis on this deal here. Uh, I don't know what else to say about it. I might go out and take a few shots out there and add this to the end if I can think of it. Wait a minute, what did I do with my paper? Uh, well, I don't know. Here, here it is. Here it is. They sent this along. I can do this back at it like this. Well, this. This little piece right here. Right there. That was rounded off. I still got that paint on my finger when I put it off. the same thing that was good. Anyway, this little hard right there. That was kind of rounded. It wasn't a sharp edge. And uh, so the, 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 the what's called wooden a hammer. Well, I can't I don't know what they call it. But anyway, it didn't catch. It slipped right off that and then far. So after I filed this little piece square here on top, then it would catch. So whoever was like, somebody was asking me about that, I don't remember who or well, the comments was asking about why it would go off like that by itself. And after I filed that, then it was good. All right, well, I might go out and see if I got a couple free shots of this thing, put it on the camera, and we'll go from there. And I uh, appreciate uh, Ron uh, over there at uh, Wally's Place 66 for giving me that gun. And uh, I enjoyed putting it together. I probably won't do much with it other than put it, I might hang it up over the door. I'd like to be able to display my, all my guns, but heck, you can't do it now. I have crooks or steal them or. Or a house catch on the and you burn them all up. So I've got most of them in the safe. Well, not all of them, most. Well, that's enough rambling. Uh, I'm glad you guys have got a brief entry or interest in this little project. And we'll talk to you later then. All right. So let me see that or not. We'll, we'll give a few shots from short distance. Oh, shit. Alrighty, well, that was fairly good, but it was only like 15 feet, so that's the way that goes.